the MR area omni light, the area light parameters rollout. So here I have a MR area omni light, and I'm going to pick on it and go into my modify tab. In the modify tab, I have a role called area light parameters. And so I can say, well, I can turn on the area light parameter, turn it off, or I can turn it on. I can show the icon of this light in the renderer. I can pick the shape of what kind of shape I want. I'll leave it as a sphere. Oop. And if it's a sphere, I can set the radius. I'm going to kick it up to 5 so we can see it a little better. And then this light symbol, this glyph, will be showing up in a rendering. So when I run a render, there is my dot, my sphere, that shows where the light is. I don't like this. Hey, it's just me, but I don't like it. I don't know why it needs to be on in my rendering. So I do not have it on. But if you want it on, you could have it uh, identified at a certain radius or style. So I'm not really interested in that myself. Um, and down here in the samples, the samples use used to set the quality of the shadow projected by our area omni light. So uh, in our U is the number of subdivisions for the radius. And then in the uh, the V is the the number of angular subdivisions of the shape. So we could kick these up if you want a higher quality shadow. Okay? And then you'll have to run a render to have that appear. So sampling essentially means that it goes through it five different times, uh, taking a look at its, sh at its shadows. If you kick that up more, it's going to have a more detailed shadow.